We're gonna show the song like this. Then we have a lovely bass going on. And then we just gonna smash the chords. Hi guys, welcome back. So this is a guitar tutorial on the song Fly Away by Tones and I and this is a complete in-depth guitar tutorial which means I'm gonna show you all the parts going in the song with some extra rhythms and all to, to make the song sound the best. Alright, let's get started. Let's get prepared. Have a guitar, get a pick. Uh, no need of cable. It's in a stand tuning. We're just gonna play some easy chord shapes. No bar chords. So everything is very easy. All right, let's have a look at the chord shapes. Uh, the song I'm gonna show you everything, how the song is actually proceeding, and what all thing you will play in which part of the song. So before that, learning the four chords is very important. So have a look at the chord shapes. First chord is the E major, which is zero two two one zero zero. Then we have a A major, but we are not playing an A major chord. We are just playing a variation of the A major chord, which is an A sus two. Where you've got your middle and your ring finger on second fret of the D and G E string, and rest everything is open excluding the top E string. So mute open second second open open. And when you bring the shape down over here, it's a B, but you just need to add the second fret on the A string. Then it will be a complete B. So we got second fret on the A string and fourth fret on the D and G E string. E string muted and open B and high E string. We are not playing a full. B. Bar chord, B major chord, we're just playing the easy version of B sus. And then when you bring the shape down over here on the 4th fret of the A string, it's actually a C sharp minor slash E. So we are actually having the E string muted, top E string muted, alright? So 2nd fret, I'm sorry, 4th fret on the A string, 6th fret on D and G, 5th fret on B and the high E string is open to get that. Alright. You got the chords, super easy, no bar chords, totally before. Now, I think the video may be long because I'm going to show you a lot of parts, so make sure to watch till the end because uh, this will not actually disorder you. This will be a nice video as. So, let's get started. So, starting of the song, it actually goes like this. So it actually goes like, I had a dream, I wanted to fly away, like that. So if you just hear the song, this is the starting. So what we do is, we have a pick in our hand right now. So we got a pick, and you hold the E major chord and you strum that once, slowly, and make sure you strum till the G string. For the beginning, I like to strum till the G string. Cause I had a dream. And then I move on to the A sus2 chord, and I strum till the B string, I don't hit the high E string for the A sus2. So then we move on to the C sharp minor chord, we strum till the B string again for this chord also. And same goes for the B sus chord till the B string. So you get a lot of open string in this song. Alright, so we play this part twice. So I had a dream, uh, like that, goes on. Another time. So I'm playing this twice, then you have that bass stuff going on. So uh, C kind of stops for a second, and then if A, B, na, 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 na. So this actually goes on. I'm gonna show you an alternate way to play that on the chords, which uh, to me actually sounds good and is actually more easy to play. But still, if you just want to learn this part, just give me a minute. I'm showing you. So the chord song is following the same chord progression. What we do is this is basically the E. So we are playing the open E string. Then you play the 7th fret on the E string with the pinky 
and then you play the fourth fret on the E string with that index. Now everything is on the top E string, so we got. And I'm kind of muting it. Da, 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 da. And we play this twice on the E. So this is actually E. And then, so go. After that, you move on to the A major chord. A sus two, A major chord. And now you play. So you play the A string fifth. Um, I mean the E string fifth fret. Then the ninth fret. So you are actually stretching your pinky a lot. But still, it's not too hard. So you play five, nine, five. Again, repeat that twice. Then you move on to C sharp minor chord. So we got C sharp over here. So we play nine, twelve, nine, nine, twelve, nine. Okay. And then we move on to the B, which is on the seventh fret of the E string. We play seven, eleven, seven, seven, eleven, seven. So all put together, it will go like this. Some extra scratches you can just hit the note you can just produce some other note what I say some music down and up uh, that will sound pretty good so we play this twice and then we have that drop so we are going so da, 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 da. I forgot the tune never mind so we have da, 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 da. and after that uh, suddenly a beat comes in so at the time I like to go So I do some music up and down to follow that. So let me play that one time. Drop comes in. Sorry. So after that we come to the back to the chorus. So I had a dream there's somebody I kinda fly. So we just gonna play that part and I had to go for one down stroke on each current distance I strum the full chord. So yeah, I had a, so let me play that. Start. It's a two. C sharp minor. B. And then we have drop. So let me show you that part. So what I do over here is so the strength panel will be down, up, slap, down. So we have so down, up. Then you keep your hand on the string, but at that same time you can actually do a slap, or you can just hit that your hand with the on the guitar. So I get a hit. Which I call the kick of the drum. So down, up, hit, down. And repeat that strumming pattern one more time. So you got it? We do it down, up, hit, down, 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 down, up, hit, down. Keep in mind, you're not playing the full chord. So it's actually that part of the chorus. I had a dream. So it actually goes like this. So the drop goes on, and after that we have the again uh, we call the next verse. Which part is na 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 na. So we have na, 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 na. so for the verse the bass goes on. For the pre-chorus we just gonna strum once on each chord, and for the chorus we have. So you got it. Now the thing is, if you just want to play this. I'm gonna show you an awesome thing over here, which will be. So 
So we, what I'm doing, I'm just gonna follow that pattern, but I'm actually changing or playing some other notes. So I'm playing the E string open on the E major chord. Then I play the D and G string together. Then I mute that. And then I play the moment chant. So we got E string, D G together, mute that, again play D G. Same goes for the A sus2 chord, but this time we're just playing the A string open. And then we're playing the D G string together. And the D G. Same for the C sharp minor. Or if you even got this. So you can just do anything you want with the chord shapes. Uh, just follow that rhythm. Even if you just pick some individual strings from that chord shape, it won't sound any bad. So that's basically everything for the song. You just repeat that whole part one more time. So the song actually starts off with the chorus, soft chorus. I had a dream. We got intro, verse, pre chorus, chorus, and then we got verse, pre chorus, chorus, which is the same uh, throughout the whole song. So that really helps you out. And if don't forget to drop in one of these, uh, subscribe to this channel. Uh, make sure to subscribe, guys. Hit that like button, it really helps you out. Check out the description. I'll see you guys back in the next video. So then, bye.